Hi, I'm Johnny and Davina of the band Human Drama. We recently released an album called Blurred Images, and tonight I'm going to do a song breakdown on track number five, Into Our Escape. Into Our Escape started as a keyboard track that Mark Balderas sent me um, when he was experimenting with some sounds, and he came out it came up with a, with a pretty cool little passage, he thought, so he asked me to take a listen to it and see if it um, struck anything in me. And it certainly did. And uh, the night that he sent it to me was also the night that I started finding the vocal melody, and I think I did a quick demo. Now I'm gonna play you the demo that Mark sent me, the actual tracks. And um, when we first got it, it was simply just an idea and um, it, it only encompassed maybe uh, two different parts of the song. So here it is, and I'll start it off with just the keyboard uh, for a moment. Beautiful pulse. I think that was what actually drew me to the track. The pulse really gave it a strong vibe. Second keyboard. Beautiful old uh, 70s synthesizer. How pretty is that? Here comes another little pad. We'll bring the original pad back in now. So that was what I got to hear the first night when I opened up the files. Beautiful old 70s synthesizer sounds. And then I came up on top of that and um, I started experimenting with um, a melody for it. So let's get to a little bit of that. Here I come. I experimented with trying a lower vocal under the higher vocal, which never made it to the album, but I'll play you a little bit of what that was. And this is um, just the verse and just the vocals. She shows me pictures of her broken dreams Scattered in pieces on the floor High one. And she arranges them as she needs to tell the stories that she needs to tell To be the martyr To show the wonder Whoever she needs to be So that is pretty much the demo. We took it from there. We needed a middle section and Mark did write after this um, what would turn out to be the, uh, the solo part of the song, Tim Grove uh, guitar solo. So we will get to all the individual tracks in a bit, but that was the demo. Okay, so now we're back and we'll get into the body of the song. Of course, uh, what we did for, for the band to play to was lay down the click, and then we laid down all of Mark's keyboards again, and here's the, um, the keyboards that made it onto the album. 
pretty much the same. Did a little treatment here and there. There's his intro. We get to the second part, we add the high synth. another part right after the first verse, I believe, and now it's the three of those together. All right, so those are Mark's keyboards, which everybody kind of played to, and what we did in this was we started adding a little electric guitar that actually comes in at the top of the song. And let's see if you can hear it in here. If not, I'll boost it a bit. Tim, nice little electric picking part. And then he adds nice little intro line. into the vocal of the song. So I'm going to start that back at the beginning and I'm going to play just a little section of it. Um, and let's see what this does. And I'll gradually start adding things as, as we go. So here we start with the keyboard and let's see how far I can go. tell you a little bit about what I was thinking. Um, I actually played the bass on this song and what I wanted to do was, and this is quite a challenge, Every anybody who plays bass is going to laugh at me when I say this, go right ahead, I laughed at myself. No one better at laughing at Johnny than, than me. I felt like I wanted a bass part that was similar to the way that Jaco Pastorius played when he played on Joni Mitchell albums, which he did, I think, one, one album or so, and then, then he did a tour. So I did both a high and a low bass and kind of blended them together. And I'll just keep one of the keyboards in for now, and we'll listen to a little bit of the bass as it came in. So here we go. space, why it is so smooth. At one point, actually double uh, the bass a little bit where both of them are playing at one time. I haven't listened to this in a while, so let's see what it does. Play just a quick section. the intro of the song and even up to a little bit of the verse. I'm going to pull up a few more things and play you a couple of other sections of the song, especially when the percussion kicks in. That was kind of interesting, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. We're a little farther up in the song. We're getting up uh, to the first uh, chorus, then a break, and that's when the percussion comes in. So you'll hear a little bit of Mark's keyboard, and then I'll start slowly bringing in uh, the percussion stuff that we did. No, no full drum kit on this. 
it was done with a few things which I will point out. So here we go, a little keyboard. drum a little beat on the cajon drum with brushes bongo stereo a scratch on a bongo drum That's how we created the percussion. And I'll go back over that again, um, one by one. And I'll just do the percussion this time. Starts with the cajon drum, high cajon. Bongos, stereo. Right at this point comes a little scratch on a bongo drum with a brush and a right in time delayed tambourine hit. Change the bongo part. Nice little roll. Play the percussion part and I'm going to go ahead and put the bass in. This is where I decided to move a little bit on the bass and let's see how this blends together. part of the vibe and we strategically kept it out until then. I'll be back in one second, run over some of the guitars. Gonna get to some of the guitars now. Um, Tim Grove did some great work on this track. So I'm gonna play a few of them in solo and I'm wondering, should I keep one of Mark's? Uh, no, I'll tell you what, I'll just do them in solo right now so you guys can hear the sounds. <laughs> Nice little picking, Betty Dud. The solo licks. So that got us into the intro. The picking part continues through the verse. Let's take it up and see where we're at right now on the song. Pulse guitar, which really goes with the percussion. Really cool. I'm going to solo this track now. little build-ups, stuff like that, so important in the song. You, They're very subtle sometimes, but make a big difference. So you guys can hear the guitar is really nice. He did a, a really cool rhythm bit um, up in here. This is what we call the rhythm part. It's a real smart part, you guys, really smart. And I'm um, just gonna breeze through it really quick. Well, you see, it's really when you're doing bass, bass and electric guitar and trying to build dynamics without, say, an, an official drum kit in there, it can be really tricky. I think we, we really did a good job on this from Mark's 
beautiful parts that, that he wrote to the way everybody came in and executed what they did. So what I'll do to wrap this up tonight, I know I haven't gotten to the vocal, but you know what the vocal sounds like, it's pretty much that. I'm gonna, oh, I forgot one thing. Let me do this really quick. This will be Pinky Terzo, which seems like I tend to forget the backing vocals. I don't mean to. This is Pinky uh, Terzo, and this is right at the chorus. No. She might get mad for solo in it, but. Light the candle, let it live slowly as we fall into our escape. You might hear all that delay. That is very intentional. That ended up on the album. And what we did was we created two or three different delays that created also on the vocal a pulse to the track. And I think that helped us get away without having, you know, a big drum kit on, on here. Uh, she does something on the solo that I want to play, and then I'll go ahead and put some other things in. Just uh, really cool. And I know there's another great thing that happens um, with the electric guitar, I believe, and that vocal. I'm not going to dig for it. So I'll uh, stop for just a moment, get the tracks organized, come back, and play through the whole track. All right, back to wrap up the song breakdown of Into Our Escape from our new album, Blurred Images. I'm just going to start at the top and play a little bit and slowly bring some things in. So let's see if I've got... Mark's keyboards in, and I should, let's see if I do, pardon me for this, we are ready, and let's see what happens. There's the keyboards, here comes Tim Grove, clean picking part, solo notes, Bass is in now. First verse. Sits like this for a little while. from the background, he knows it's time to rap. Here comes the solo, thank you, Leon. <laughs>
beautiful solo. Pinky could not have picked anything more appropriate to do um, with our Pink Floyd-esque backing vocals. So uh, Leon is saying it is time to go. So I am going to wrap up the song breakdown of Into Our Escape. Thanks for listening. Hope you thought it was cool. We really had a great time tracking this song. Till next time. Leon.